to 28 all of a sudden of 2023. Well, everybody had a lot of problems with the stream tonight. My apologies. We're just going to do the show and upload it. These are big files we're talking. 100, 150 gigabyte files. It does take a while for the quality to show up. So if it shows up, check and see if it's high quality yet if not you can always come back a bit later after it could take a couple of hours for high quality with such a big file let's get after it. we got lots of news to cover since thursday of last week we're going to go do the time machine and because last week we covered on thursday's show we covered uh, january 2019 give people a uh, some context of how different the narrative really was than it is today. So the official story, as it started about six weeks ago, it came out of... So Korea originally is now trickled around the world. And let me just find out for you. It was by a professor of nuclear and quantum engineering in So Korea. We said the discharges into the ocean of the multiple nuclear reactor meltdowns and eight fuel pools that are melted down and missing. And this is unprecedented. This is worse than all nuclear accidents combined, and then some, and then some. I claimed that it was equal to 2.2 grams is of tritium is all that got out. But don't worry about that because it's allegedly all in the tanks. And so the buildings actually don't even exist anymore. You're talking about 150 foot buildings. So when you're 150 feet wide and 190 feet tall. And so that piece up there is this piece right here. And so this piece here is taller than two of them to stump a reactor three and four. They were left there so they can build a contraption to manipulate population. So they put this contraption over there on the stump of reactor three, for instance. And they've done the same thing for reactor four, which looks like that. And then they pretend that, that they were in the fuel pool on top of the building. So they only left that stump there so they can fake that the building still existed. And it was the same thing with Reactor 3. Reactor 3 was a mixed oxide fuel facility and lost its entire inventories. And so when you stack Reactor 3, the remains of Reactor 3 and the remains of Reactor 4 on top of each other, they're not as tall as the bottom piece, which is this piece here of a complete building. And the fuel pools and reactor cores were at the top of the buildings. and there's no repositories where everything was stored in the fuel pools. And it's around 6 million pounds per billion. That's now covered the entire planet in about 20 days. There's many different models. This is French, uh, France's model. And as you can see, at around 20 days, the planet's covered. It's the same thing for Norwegian Institute. that showed... Now, the models were only based on venting. They weren't based on the loss of this inventory, they weren't based on... My understanding is on top of what you... Right, they weren't based on all the melted reactors. Now, I didn't show you reactor one and two because three and four stands out. So far, so good. In Japan's IN Fukushima water released from 1 p.m. Thursday. Now, they've been releasing water nonstop. They can't contain it. It's, these are meltdowns. You're not... This is not like pouring water over a campfire, okay? This is a catastrophic event. You're talking about two sievers per liter of radiation. So for them to claim they can filter it is a ludicrous, a, a nightmarish deception. And that's what we're seeing. We did have a poll tonight asking was media, universities, academic professors, scientists worldwide Pretending that only tritium got out of destroyed buildings. A betrayal. 
So it is, you know, the billions had millions of pounds for pretending that never actually happened. So you can't have a conversation with another official. The official story is now they're going to release water from the tanks, but nothing got out of the buildings. I showed you how they faked that at the very beginning. Prime Minister says international lawsuit will be filed if Fukushima water release goes beyond the standards. Well, it's gone. when did it go beyond the standards? On uh, day five, it was all gone. So we're in real danger because they're willing to do what they're doing. It's not because it's harmless. The media worldwide didn't pretend they were in a building that don't exist because it's harmless. They're doing it because it's a catastrophic event. They're not censoring my IP address Saturday, Sunday, and the day because they're bored. It's because we're the only narrative on the planet that actually makes any sense. And so now they just hate my guts publicly. So the impact of humans annual terms about one one thousandth of the radiation dose received from a single dental x-ray. The International Atomic Energy Agency and the World Health Organization are the exact same agency. So their claim is one thousandth of a radiation dose from an x-ray. Um, and that's the stated International Atomic Energy Agency's report. And uh, of course, it's bioaccumulation in the human body. It's radi anthropogenic man made radiation. It's absurd to suggest that it doesn't. Please be fully aware of the words nuclear wastewater, untreated radioactive water, which are used in NST leaders promoting false understanding, harmful rumors. Well, the buildings are actually gone. They're actually gone. So to suggest that it's harmful rumors is is what they're doing by pretending that it's not happening. And this is kind of, they don't have a right. This is corporation and the nuclear industry has taken over your media and your governments in increments over the last 80 years and have now turned against you so that nuclear doesn't get what it deserves, which is... For the world to understand how actual evil this is, so it's for a lot of people. It's probably beyond. That's why we show you these pictures, so you can appreciate the difference in the reality and in what they're telling you. Prime Minister says international lawsuits will be fired if Fukushima water release goes beyond the standard. Of course, it went beyond the standard immediately. It's silly to suggest it didn't. Use the correct terminology on Fukushima Daiichi. The correct terminology. Claim it'll be one seventh of the world's health organization's drinking standards. And so you gotta, why are they pretending they're in a building that doesn't exist? Is the only question you really should ask yourself. Because everything else makes sense after. Claim it doesn't accumulate in the human body. Then claiming that don't use nuclear wastewater or untreated, only use the versions uh, that they give you. You're not allowed to have another narrative. Is That's enough of that. We can't have a future. Your children can't have a future. The species can't have a future. They're completely, 100%, unequivocally out of control at this stage. They're unacceptably a threat, a, a imminent threat to all the species. The amount of tritium in the Alps water is smaller than what is discharged from any nuclear. So suggesting tritium, tritium, is all you got to worry about? It's frightening that they had went that way, and they, they slowly crawled that way over the last six weeks in particular. The building doesn't even exist. That was pure uranium plutonium. So this is a short version of a normal version because I can't keep up with the news cycle if I don't get it out there. We're going to post the video. TEPCO begins tritium level checks ahead of the Fukushima Daiichi. Tritium levels. Tritium levels. <sighs> so, like, how did we ever get to this conversation is beyond me. So here's a radiation spiking on the west coast, a thousand 
times to a million times, 10 million times, rather, a million times to 10 million times of cesium-137. There is no models of tritium. By the way, that model is on the 18th, which is seven days after the tsunami and only three days or two days after the last reactor blew up. So if you let that model run for a couple of days, in this case it's 19 days, you see what happened at 19 days? And cesium, by the way, immediately damaged the heart muscles, and not just you, it's all species. TEPCO begins TEPCO, which is a not a decommissioned authority, they're a corporation on the stock market. Um, they should have been removed immediately. We have numerous polls suggesting they would be, should they be removed. It was uh, almost 100% GS on each poll. And of course, they, even the Fukushima Prefecture government had called for them to be moved many times. But TEPCO is actually the Japanese government. They were nationalized and because they went bankrupt originally. The operators, the check-in tritium levels, tritium, tritium. Oh, and they plan to release 460 tons of wastewater a day for 17 days for a total of 7,800 tons in the first phase. That's 27 tons a day. That'll take them 121 years to dump the water that they allege is in the tank. But the tanks, unfortunately, are empty. They were built to manipulate you. Let me explain that to you. show you the filtration systems there was three different types there was the series system the alp system which you'd hear quite a bit about now and the reva system now all the tanks were built in the end of 2013 to 2000 and the beginning of 2014 So the Reva system, April 21st, 2014, had yet to function. But you're talking about uh, multiple sieverts per liter. The filter is so radioactive, you can never get back in the building. It was built to manipulate you that they had it under control. The same system, except from France, known as the Reva, three and a half years later, also didn't work, was kept out of use. The other system was the Siri system. The Siri system uh, was never heard of after and was incapable of doing the same thing as the Reaver the Alps. And that the plant had released enormous amounts of highly contaminated water directly into the ocean from a tour of leaks from the reactor buildings. Let's keep rolling with the news cycle. Uh, the South Korea's uh, second party, closest party to the leadership, or the, the runner up, Democratic Party, rather, leader denounces Fukushima water release as an act of terror. And that's appropriate. But they're terrorists because they won't acknowledge the buildings are actually destroyed, right? So they're, again, all they got to do is show these pictures and or Greenpeace or any celebrity or any academic or any anybody on the planet with a platform shows those pictures. It's all over for the nuclear industry. And the only person showing it to you and, and is me. That's it. I'm out of 8 billion people. And so it's hard to comprehend how evil. So all of these politicians in South Korea, it's hard for me to comprehend. They don't know what the buildings look like. They're protesting tritium. Right? So their followers are also protesting tritium instead of uranium, plutonium, and everything else. Sky News Australia, and Sky News, anything from Australian media is just vicious, hateful scum. They hate your guts. They're so pro-nuclear. I almost dread reading, well, I don't almost, I dread reading any story from Australia. No risk from releasing the water. They've never stopped releasing it. The buildings are completely destroyed 12 years ago. And so their propaganda is vicious, and they bring on this disgusting creature known as Tony Hooker. And he showed up a lot 
uh, in the last five weeks. There was a, quite a few other ones from Australia. And they're pushing the tritium narrative, which is absurd. Now, at no time, no time do they provide the documentation. No time do they show you the pictures. At no time, at no time do you, will they show you that picture and tell you only tritium. They'll show you this. My understanding is on top of what used to be reactor building number four. The whole of this building was blown apart by a huge explosion. We are here inside Reactor 4 at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that was severely crippled during the earthquake and tsunami of 2011. ...of the decommissioning work taking place here in Reactor 4. At the end of our tour, we were checked for radiation exposure. In four hours, I received the equivalent of less than a chest x-ray. 1,500 highly radioactive fuel rods inside this pool. They've got to move them outside of this reactor. So how many people think that that um, they're on top of the building that don't exist anymore? Is there anybody out there that gullible, that naive? Is there anybody <sighs> keep it going? So we've covered Tony Hooker a lot. And he's a professor, an actual, he's, I'm sorry, he's the Center for Radiation Research Director. And so if you can't trust, and we see a lot of them showed up, right? If you can't trust him, and just look at the Arik and look. But this creature right, should be in jail for a billion years for what he's doing. Suit to be filed next month to stop the release of the Fukushima Daiichi treated water. There is no treated water. It's not diluted. It's not treated. The buildings are actually gone, for goodness sakes. Hong Kong details import ban on some Japanese seafood due to Fukushima. But Fukushima has been releasing the seafood for 12 years. The radiation the emissions, the fallout for 12 years straight. for 12 years straight. And this is a Neptunium 239 dispersal based on TEPCO's numbers of the venting, not the meltdowns. And by the way, 239 Neptunium decays to Plutonium 239, which is a nasty, it's a nasty isotope. Hong Kong details import banned on some Japanese seafood due to the release. So they're talking like it's going to happen instead of that it's been happening. And so this is the game they're playing on the entire planet. <clears throat> if you make this far, then you must understand by now that there's something you need to know about if you're not familiar with this story. <coughs> it's totally absurd to suggest that nothing got out. It's absurd. When the whole planet was covered in about 20 days, the plume never goes away, and they've been doing this for 80 years, but these were pulse events. Why is the great president so upset? For years, he wanted to destroy America, and Joe Biden beat him to it. Well, the United Nations is who he's actually upset with, because the United Nations uh, bombed that country into non-existence 70 years ago this year. There, and before that, they were enslaved by Japan, occupied by Japan. It was brutal occupation for 50 years. So Japan lost in Nagasaki, Hiroshima, and then they were finally free. So United Nations, who just changed their name from League of Nations, said, no, not so quick. And they bombed them back into the Twilight Zone. And for 80 years, 70 years of land, sea, air embargoes against them, starved the country. And so what you see there is a country that has been repressed for 120 years and, and to suggest that uh, they're the bad person is absurd. But the United Nations, which is the military industrial complex, needs a boogeyman. And that's an easy one. There's no one going to defend them. The media is completely bought by the corporations now and there's no descending voices. Protests mount in South Korea over Japan's plan, plan to release water, plan. But, uh, like, 
it's hard for me to reconcile that the world, because I've been doing this for 12 years, that the world doesn't know what's going on. Fukushima literally ejected the reactor cores and the fuel pools, and the plume model to your bottom is based on 27 days. South Korea, which is now promoting nuclear, this particular administration, the previous administration was anti-nuclear. This one went in and reversed all the work the other one done and has this fake renaissance, but they're not building reactors worldwide. No one's taking orders from South Korea. The nuclear industry has sabotaged everybody's future, including the 8 million visible species. And this is not a game. I'm not working myself silly because I'm bored or I don't have a million other things to do. I'm doing it because the world needs somebody to be honest in so much hatred against us. I don't know how to um, comprehend nobody else is doing what I'm doing. Pacific Islands divided over Fukushima water releases Cook Island Prime Minister, who, uh, again, if you want to debunk Fukushima, this is quite simple. It's ridiculously straightforward. All they got to do is show, say, this picture here. Take a screenshot, show that picture in the world media on the news, and the nuclear industry is not going to survive another week. Fukushima water to be released to oceans containing naturally occurring nuclear products. There is nothing naturally occurring from a nuclear meltdown. That's why these are anthropogenic man-made isotopes. And everything with replicating cells has no defense mechanism to defend against it. So I've done research expeditions since. And we'd done six years from British Columbia to Alaska for four to five months a year without coming home at all. And what I species to your left are now exterminated. That's an extinction event. And so this is why they're doing what they're doing. They don't want to get the blame for killing all the species. And it's not just the, the ocean species we're talking about. Tritium. So to suggest that only this is Tony Hooker again. The Center for Radiation Research Director, Tony Hooker, saying Fukushima plant contains the already naturally occurring byproduct. Well, first off, man-made tritium is 3H. It's totally different than natural. Same as all the other isotopes. This is what we call them man-made. The Japanese are cleaning up the water. They diluted it uh, and then sending it out to sea. They, well, it hasn't stopped going into the ocean. Let me show you reactor one and two because I forgot to show you that earlier. Because they're not quite as visible looking, see? That's reactor one. But it blew up and caught fire and blew up and blew up. And caught fire and blew up. And reactor two blew up and caught fire and caught fire and blew up. And these, these are all much larger than Chernobyl by orders of magnitude. There's, you're talking about 10 to 6 reactors at the top of each of the buildings. That's reactor 3, the stump of it. They only kept that there so they can fake a fuel pool. And the same thing with the stump of reactor 4. They only kept that so they can fake the fuel pool. And they did. And the world media and the world's universities and professors worldwide, including Tony Hooker, people like Tony Hooker, have done everything they can to cut your throat for 12 years straight. And so instead of being able to do a nice simple live stream, I got to work double time, shoot the video and then upload it because we can't seem to be able to stream after all these years for the last three days. We have been interrupted on the stream. Japan government pledges long-term support for fisheries during the Fukushima plant. So again, what they're planning on doing is buying the fish if no one buys it, freeze it, and then sell it later. And they're talking in a nuclear wasteland. They call it no-go zone because you don't have the courage to call it what it is because they lack that 
they lack the left side of their brain with critical thinking skills. Japan's government makes final plea to gain fisheries understandings from Fukushima plant water release. And here's the prime minister, uh, TEPCO president. Claiming that they're in the treated water facility, the ELP system, they would have to be 6 to 12 feet thick lead around each of them. Uh, if you put this material from pouring it over, what they're claiming is they're pouring water over the melted reactors, pumping it through the system, filtering it, and the only thing left is three grams of sugar, according to South Korea's professor, quantum engineering at the universities. This is a madness that we're even, because like, if ELPS work, you would see it show up everywhere worldwide right away. It can't work because you're putting gammas, alphas, neutrons, betas together. You can't even step over the hoses that your units a lethal dose. Once it gathers up in the filter for 20 or 30 minutes, you can never get back in the building. Remember what the buildings actually look like. Remember that they're lying to you. And remember, this stuff is deadly. They're not doing that because they're bored, pretending they're in a building that don't exist. They're doing that because this is an extinction event. And it's time to stand up. And they're panicking because I'm out trying to have a conversation. Fukushima water discharge. 16 students apprehended for attempting to enter Japan's embassy. And uh, they were protesting tritium. They all got released, of course. Japan released water from Fukushima nuclear plant amid outcry over the risk. It's been going on for 12 years. The building to your left is obviously gone. It doesn't look like the building to the right where the, the media has their, their prostitutes installed. Do not dump Fukushima waste, wastewater, but uh, that's what they've been doing for 12 years. It's nonstop. Buildings don't even exist. All four of them are gone and eight fuel pools. Each fuel pool had five to six reactor cores stuffed in it. South Korea Prime Minister urges Japan's transparency on Fukushima wastewater release. Well, like if you're going to have transparency, you got to include a picture like that. We've never showed you a single picture of the reactors after Fukushima. Not a single picture worldwide in the last six weeks exists. So if you're gonna have transparency, then have the trans. So this is about South Korea, Taiwan, China, and Japan working together to deceive the entire Asian population, Indonesia, Malaysia, and everywhere else. And uh, everybody's protesting the tritium, which is what they wanted. That's the only one that's gonna show up in the media, and they're putting them in the media to encourage you to protest the the fake story instead of the real one. I'm trying to. Uh, present in these presentations. Worries over seafood safety mountains. Japan releases Fukushima water into the Pacific. Of course, they never stopped. It has never stopped. They have never stopped releasing the water. The buildings are completely gone, as I showed you multiple times already. Tonight. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has begun releasing its first batch, its very first batch. It's begun releasing the first batch. So that's three assertions that nothing has ever gotten out and then calling it treated. It's so far-fetched, it's, but it's so dangerous what we're talking about. Right, that's re stump of reactor four and, and the stump of reactor three, and they only left that there so they can put a cap over it and pretend they were in the fuel pools. Worries over seafood safety mount as Japan releases Fukushima water into the Pacific. Well, it wiped out the seafood on the west coast of North America. Yeah, I mean, some seafood, but the tidal zones are exterminated. The decision to release a water was made without enough public debate input from Japan's northeastern Tohoku region. But then somebody, all you got to do is like show these pictures. And you beat every one of their stories forever. They can't beat that picture. They can't beat this picture. 
He said the price has gradually climbed back to the highest level since 2011. Well, nuclear meltdowns are still ongoing. They should never be fishing there. They shouldn't even be living in Japan. Uh, 14 prefectures were banned by 55 countries, not because of radi radiophobia, but because of radiation caused meltdowns. So to just brush over, instead of showing you pictures what a meltdown actually is, they just used a very, not even a phrase, caused meltdowns, as if everybody's supposed to be able to extrapolate the enormity of these buildings that are missing from a phrase. We don't know way to articulate. We don't know way to explain it, rather. Right? Well, same thing, I guess. But you need a picture, right, for them to comprehend it. He and his colleagues are suing the government to stop the release. Well, it never stopped releasing. The plumes covered the entire planet in uh, less than 15, 20 days. And let me show you that depiction of the countries that I put together when we listed the countries. This is what it looks like how many countries were banned or prefectures and these are big prefectures so it's about half the size of japan was banned by 55 countries for over a decade and suggested only two grams of tritium got out now uh, and there's no descending voices I'm, I'm the only one with a descending voice and i'm doing everything i can non-stop for years except five days a week plus the research expeditions to educate people so we can have a conversation. And I didn't know I was that bad at educating people. I'll do it providing documentation. And bringing in the, the recent news cycles to try to articulate the, the madness, the, the danger, the horror of what we're talking about. Earthquakes and tsunamis which caused meltdowns, caused meltdowns. Again, why not show us the meltdowns? How, do they, how can they comprehend it if you don't? have any way to comprehend it. And so I can take you through a little details, which was the plan, but the problem with when I'm um, videotaping the videos is you're getting up to a couple of hundred gigabytes by the time the show is over. It, it could take 10, 12 hours to upload it. It could take five hours for it to format on YouTube. And it's just a, it's a ridiculous amount of work. It ties up the computer I need for work to do it but if that's what I got to do that's what I'm going to do I, I'm I got no options I don't know I can't we can't just stop my goodness we're going to lose our planet our trust and happiness is relying on our hometown has been destroyed again like all all of this they're refusing they're in sorry that's not the picture they're refusing to be realistic they're refusing to use the documentation. They're refusing to acknowledge the buildings are, are completely gone. There is nothing left. And there's four of them. But I show you these two because they're so, it's so easy for you to comprehend that the building is uh, gone. I would hope, anyway. Talk quietly, Japan tells citizens in China to lie low. After Fukushima. Think about how ridiculous that statement is when it's been going on for 12 years. And so they're just trying to, to gain the sympathy and force China's hand, kind of. Japan told its citizens living in China to keep a low profile on Friday. Think about this that kind of a statement. When going out, try to be cautious, such as speaking Japanese loudly unnecessary, not speaking Japanese loudly. Je uh, the embassy said an alert posted on his website on Friday. Well, first off, their whole story is based on lies. They're, they're not showing the world that these pictures. They're pretending now that there's nothing got out on the tritium, and don't worry because that's in a thousand tanks, and they're going to release that over 40 years. It, it never stopped hemorrhaging out, and it's not going to. And so they're trying to um, do a kill shot for a debate by going the route that they're doing, and that's. Uh, you know, it's going to be hard to, it's hard to be, right? You're talking about all the universities, all the medias, all the corporations, all the celebrities, everybody's, all the, you'd be amazed how many people knows the difference and are silent. 
And so I got no choice to keep trying unless they kill me. And then hopefully the work I've already done will reverberate. And pray we're that lucky, I suppose. Hong Kong weighs seafood safety certification for restaurants amid fears over Japan's Fukushima wastewater discharge. Again, the buildings don't even exist. Um, like, pretending that it's going to happen when it hasn't stopped happening. How do I, you know, how do you have a conversation when you're doing that? Atom Malaysia, think of how disgusting that statement right there is. That's the uh, nuclear regulatory, I guess, in Malaysia that don't, they don't have any reactors, but they're using nuclear there. No increase in radioactivity levels detected in the country's water, which is impossible because the plumes covered the entire planet. Uh, this is the plutonium model of the radioactive fall that I'm going to show you. And remember, you're talking about an invisible plume. Think of, an, of a snowstorm covering the planet. After 20 days, it never goes away. It never stops snowing. The snow never melts. And instead of being cold, it pulses energy at the speed of light every second, every snowflake. And then you're kind of knowing what we're talking about. It's worse than that. It's been going on for 80 years, and it never goes away. It's, it lasts for millions of years. There's no increase in radioactivity levels detected in the country's water. And so you got all these countries, all these organizations, they're very well placed, they're extremely well funded. And they, they insist on, they're, so they got propaganda coming from every media, every university, every government agency, every cheerleading lapdog for the industry. All, you got all the militaries out there, you got all the stock market public relations firms are out there, you got all the hospital public relations firms that are out there. Volunteer moms are distressed about the water being discharged. So they're taking samples around Fukushima. They're, you know, they're just self-taught. And they can't find anything. And they're not looking for anything, only tritium. Filtered water contains tritium. And so they have leveraged tens of thousands of outlets against the truth. And so I... I uh, I'm, I barely exist anymore. It's very difficult. We just missed most of the research time because we don't have any foundations. We have a few stoic people that are trying to fund this operation, but I have so much equipment, so old, everything keeps breaking down. We keep running into brick walls. And um, the only good thing we got is, I guess, is the people that support me and the fact that um, I, I don't know how to give up, and I'm not, no intentions of ever giving up because that option is not a realistic option. These people aren't trained scientists. They're mothers who are worried about the legacy left for their children. They're in the nuclear wasteland, so they should have left, right? They should have moved out. They should have took children out of there if they're worried about their children. It's a nuclear wasteland, for goodness sake. You've got. So many people cutting your throat is ridiculous. Treated water, wastewater from Japan's Fukushima pumped back into the Pacific. It's not treated, and it's not being pumped into the Pacific. It's just hemorrhaging into the Pacific. If you try to pump it, then if you try to pump it, what happens, and that's the common spent fuel pool, which is we know is gone. And this is the closest we got to any picture. Let me show you the tanks. The tanks are empty. The tanks were built to trick you into thinking the radiation is not gone in the ocean. And this disgusting parasite from the media, oh, it's really something. You got protesters showing people protesting the tritium. They want you to protest the tritium. They'll put you up on TV because you're not, like everybody that's dear should be stood up with placards. And that's what the placard should look like. And the question should be, why are they pretending they're in a building that don't exist? Wake up, planet. Wake up right now. You have ran out of time. It is time. It's go time. Fukushima seawater release causes controversy. No, the controversy is the, the man-made tritium version, see? 
And this is a vile example of a human. My God, what a soulless, degenerate creature that turned out to be. Literally, when you hear her voice, you just want to run away screaming, please, somebody stop this animal. These are animals. Uh, by the way, the, the pumping, the ledge pumping is over by reactor 5 and 6, which is super interesting. Abu Dhabi. So they got Sean Burney from Greenpeace. And Greenpeace blocked me on all their social media accounts because I, every couple of weeks or every month for years, I've went there to one of the, they got many different Greenpeaces, and I'll tweet them this stuff. And next thing you know, I'm blocked. All Green, all Sean Burney has to do is show that picture, and the nuclear industry doesn't have a single leg to stand on. Maybe, just maybe, we have future generations, and there may even be some species left. But if we don't come clean, and because they've told these lies now for 80 years, and the lies, each generation of inbreeds exaggerate the lie just a bit more. The current generation is unbelievably hateful. She's holding this disgusting parasite, is holding up a book from the International Atomic Energy Agency who is uh, regurgitating the exact same narrative. Sean Burney, by the way, used to work at Donneray in the United Kingdom, a reprocessing site. is so contaminated currently, they expect it'll be 300 years, 315 years before anybody can go there and for it to be safe. And so he's so evil, Greenpeace is like, hey, how you doing? We got a job for you. Because Greenpeace is actually controlled opposition. It's, what they're doing is so dishonest. It's so dangerous. I don't understand. And like they, they actually hate me for being a good person. They don't hate me because I'm a bad person. They, they despise me because I'm actually a good person. Because they don't understand that. How can you be a good person? They don't have any examples of that in their families, right? They're mortified that somebody out there is actually a good person. Japan says no radioactivity found in Fukushima fish. So here's what they said. They said there was no it's tested fish in the waters around the nuclear meltdowns, and they didn't find any detectable levels of tritium. It's such an evil statement. It's just uh, the last six weeks have been insane. We've covered it extensively uh, all week, every week for the last six weeks. We've been at this for over a decade, right, on Fukushima, obviously. But uh, the last six weeks, this tritium story has grown a whole different. And every few days, it, it gets a whole nother different, like, how, how do you get that evil kind of context to it? So suggesting that they're checking fish for tritium at a nuclear meltdown site. And there's no models of tritium, by the way, in the last 12 years. There's no airborne models, no seaborne models of tritium ever. There's all kinds of other isotopes. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example, because that might help. My thing is I'm going to lose my spot over them, too. That's OK. Small price to pay for f a few seconds of being honest. Here you go. So we had fallout uh, in North America of 220 million atoms per liter. These are un inconceivable numbers. Pre Fukushima, this is inconceivable type of numbers. That's a study from Ottawa, Canada. Like this is absurd numbers. So you saturated the thyroid glands of everything, every insect, everything, every bird, every human, everything. And the vulnerable species will convert that into radioactive hormones, but, I mean, you're talking huge doses sustained and never goes away. And there was a corresponding 20 million atoms, uh, particles 131 per liter fell on the U.S. in another study, a million backwells of xenon 133 in another study. None of them tritium. We've never seen one of tritium. But we got all kinds of evidence. I showed you one earlier of a, a million to 10 million backwards of cesium-137. 
which was a Francis study. So the fishing story is 750 tanks, or 1,000 tanks. We counted the tanks, but we only got 750. <clears throat> and so I'm not going to go through all the detail because the file will be too big for me to upload. IAEA to engage in Fukushima water release till the last drop. And the IAEA has only been there five times in 12 years, and all of them were this year. <laughs> all of them were flyby nights too. And they came in and they swooped out again. So they're going to have an office there, but nobody's going to be there. I suggest you're going to be there to the last drop. How come you weren't there for the first 12 years? And not only that, why are you even talking? No one cares about you. You're the military industrial complex. You're just a subsidy of 195 militaries. You're the very last person humanity should trust. Until the very last drop of water is discharged, said the current administration. And look at the time of tritium. So the minute that they mention tritium is the minute you should switch them off. And the minute you should be trying to hold them accountable. And you can hold them accountable by showing the pictures. Download these pictures that I'm showing you. Print them out. And also send them out to any activist you know out there. And ask them to make placards. Ask them why they talked about tritium. Make placards asking why are they pretending they're in a building that don't exist and get out there and protest. And you'll win this battle. And that's the only opportunity you're going to have. You bet. The truth is your solution, right? That's the solution right there. Japan eyes aid for fisheries amid China's Fukushima linked import bans. Government seeks to mitigate the Chinese move's negative impact on the fishery industry by continuing to urge China to lift measures it deemed not based on science. Well, they're not based in science at all. And then they're suggesting that, that China, who knows exactly that it looks like that, there's no way China doesn't know it looks like that. There's zero possibility Taiwan, South Korea doesn't know it looks like that. There's zero possibility that any nuclear scientist on the entire planet doesn't know it looks like that. Zero possibility any university professor doesn't know it looks like that. Zero possibility that Tony Hooker from Australia, from Adelaide, who's in charge of radiation protection in the country, doesn't know it looks like that. Zero possibility. And so it's acceptable for them to cut, cut everybody's throat so the nuclear can make a few bucks and not be blamed for the extinction event that they created. And that's what they're actually up to. Japan eyes aid for fisheries, and we know that's like a half a billion dollars. Seawater radioactivity, which is in limits after Fukushima release, contained less than 10 backwells of tritium per liter, they said. So, like, they're not having no conversation. If they're looking for tritium, then you, you need to ask yourself, why are you looking for tritium? You're supposed to be looking for plutonium and uranium, americium, and neptunium, and strontium, and a thousand other fission products. Macau to ban imports of fruits and vegetables. And look at all the prefectures that they're going to ban it for. I've done up a little map of it. This is what it looks like. So they're also banning places right at Tokyo. They're banning Tokyo, rather. And other prefectures that weren't banned in the other map I showed you, so I'm gonna to have to make a map include all of these places too. But, um, why aren't they having a conversation? Why aren't they showing this picture? Why aren't they trying to say, wait a second, it doesn't look like that, it looks like that. And why did you wait 12 years to ban the food from a nuclear wasteland? Do you got any idea? The fact that there's 1,800 diseases and illnesses and autoimmune deficiencies and injuries in consuming the food. Students released from custody after attempting to enter the Japanese embassy in South Korea. Motsi to set up four more stations to monitor radioactive levels in the Malaysian waters. And it looks like the military to show me, whose job is to kill and rape and maim and destroy, to monitor the. So they're claiming it never happened to monitor the treated uh, radioactive water. It's absurd. 
besides Malaysia, only Singapore and Vietnam have the system installed for real time. But they're only checking for gamma, they claim. This has been going on for 12 years. You can't find it after 12 years. You're a lawyer. You're a degenerate scumbag. And so Malaysia's having a lot of blowback, so they're out there to control the narrative. Begin discharging to begin. After Japan begins, begin discharging the treated. The tr Again, you see that exact narrative over and over and over. It's okay, it's okay to be terrified that they're doing that. You know, when you, when you go back, now, we're, I'm tonight basically only showing you two reactors. But it's pretty obvious you're destroyed. I'm doing that because of the urgency and constraints that I have with time frames. It's much easier to tell that story if I do it that way. South Korea shuns seafood. Fishermen fear for livelihood. And so South Korea, of course, if you don't know this has happened, then you're morons. You're literally morons. If there's an academic, don't know what it looks like that. Because they can do the research the same as me. Surely the frig, I'm not the smartest person on the freaking planet. And there's a billion people that are probably smarter than me. So how come they're not speaking out? South Korea shuns seafood. And South Korea, 85% of South Korea was vehemently against the discharges, they said. But this was artificial, see, to create the narrative for the Asian countries. And it reverberated to the Asian countries because of it. But it's a well-orchestrated uh, propaganda ploy. International Atomic Energy Agency and the government assured the release meets international standards. There are no... You don't own the fucking ocean. You don't have a right to kill the ocean, you pieces of shit. With the aftermath of the release, as if they haven't released it, Pakistan Prime Minister snatches an umbrella from a woman. I uh, didn't mean to throw it at anybody, did. She was holding an umbrella for him. He took it and then walked away. And she's left very confused. But of course, you can imagine what the comments section was like. He represents the way women are handled in his country. For a day without humiliation is a day wasted, Pakistani Prime Minister. Experts, consequences of nuclear contaminated water discharge are extremely serious. This is China. And again, they're going to use, they got a, a senior special department on Moscow State University. And he's going to talk about tritium. So they claim, so Korea claimed they're going to live stream the testing of the water. I looked relentlessly. I couldn't find their YouTube channel where they said where they're going to do it. They claimed they're going to do it on their YouTube channel. I couldn't find it. Fukushima Farmer monitors nuclear contamination on his own. This is a 60-year-old surfer who moved back into a nuclear wasteland right away. Uh, and... The stuff he says makes me ashamed to be a human. He's that stupid. He said, I'll take care of them till the end. Wait for it. He catches fish and sends them for testing to the propaganda machine. To the relevant agencies who are just going to screw you every time. The only test is cesium. And the Fisheries Association only tested for cesium, not tritium. The PPP urges, which is the current ruling party, the People's Party in South Korea, urged the Democratic Party to stop spreading fear, fear, stop spreading fear over Fukushima. So their version is tritium. They're not, they're not willing to admit that. And all the, D the Democratic Republic Party got to do is show that picture. Right? Get out there with the placards, pass that out to the population. And with South Korea so angry right now, that'll be the end of the nuclear industry next morning. U.S. calls for U.N. United Nations action against North Korea's satellite launch, which they probably shot down, but it sounds like things. 
North, North Korea is entitled, after 120 years of occupation, 50 years by Japan and 70 years by the United Nations, when, when are they going to be free? That's collective punishment, by the way, what you're doing to them. And they're only doing it so the military industrial machine to make a profit by having uh, bases all around them loaded with all kinds of biological, chemical, and nuclear weapons and a massive expenditures for different countries that are participating in the UN's um, monstrous acts against a sovereign nation. Japan's Fukushima messaging has been badly bungled. No, I thought they'd done a great job of, mani of manipulation, haven't they? And of course, that's going to be, that sounds like Australian to me. Oh, yeah, Australian radiation expert. Jeez, I wonder who that could be. Oh, that's right, Tony Hooker. The treated water, the, the tritium water, he says, is safe to release. It's surreal how evil he actually is, isn't it? It's surreal how evil this man and his, some of his cohorts have been over the last six weeks. Adelaide's director for the Center of Radiation Research, Tony Hooker. Says Japan's recent release of treated water, recent release from buildings that are, don't even exist anymore. I can't even wrap my mind around how somebody is that evil. I don't understand that. I've been at this a long time. I still don't understand that. Fukushima surfer hangs loose about treated water release. Oh, this was the other guy, I'm sorry. His home and shop were in the nuclear wasteland. Minima Soma is a serious nuclear wasteland. And so they talk about Fukushima setting off meltdowns. Well, well, like, how can you just blow multiple meltdowns away in two words? It's so dishonest, it's hard to comprehend. And fear of radiation. He said, the surfers say the plant's tree to water poses no health risk. He said, nobody that knows the sea here has these kind of worries. So he's literally a moron. He's literally a moron. Discharge from Japan nuclear plant is safe. Test show. TEPCO said, water on Thursday show radioactivity activity levels were within the safe limit for tritium. Everything except for tritium. Tritium, they say, is safe. Tritium. Are within safe limits. Of course, you're completely misrepresenting a thousand other fission products don't exist. These are multiple nuclear meltdowns. We've never seen anything like it in history. China urges shoppers not to hoard salt. They won't buy it. Fish traders anxious after Fukushima wastewater release. Well, it hasn't stopped releasing it. To see how this works? Now people are worried. Instead of being worried for the last 12 years, they're worried about what might happen instead of what's been going on nonstop for 12 years. And what's been going on for 12 years is shocking, which caused three of its reactors to go into meltdown. Not meltdowns, but meltdown. So, like, this is a very strange narrative when you see it framed that way. And all these years, I've never seen that before. But in the last five years, that's the norm. He's been fishing off the coast since he was 15. It says government assurance will do nothing to protect him and other fishers, fishers from harmful rumors. Harmful rumors. Which is the media made up that person. And then, because we hear that statement from all the media worldwide, the exact same statement. How, how is that a harmful rumor, sir? Monticello Nuclear Disease Factory proved to operate through 2040. Wrap your mind around that statement. They, they lost over, they admit to 400,000 ga 400, gallons, uh, 1.2 million liters. Uh, and they said it was tritium. This was minus 30 degree temperatures. It would have ran straight down into the Mississippi River, which is just a few hundred feet away downhill. They waited four months before they mentioned it. Then they waited another couple of weeks, and then they took samples and couldn't find anything, they said. Instead of taking samples right away, which you know they done, is you guarantee you they done, 
Now they got an extension to 2040. I make it a big mistake by not holding me accountable. No tritium found in fish. <laughs> Yahoo. Yahoo movies. Look. And got to get everybody. No tritium found in fish after treated Fukushima water release. So, like, there's so many things wrong with that statement. Shocking, isn't it? Why Japan is releasing Fukushima water into the Pacific explained. I'm not doing that to you. Uh, this is you know what the routine is about this stage. I'm sure if you made it this far. Why Japan is releasing Fukushima water into the Pacific. I'm just not even going to entertain it. Tritium, you, but you can guess what the rest of it is. Okay, so that's it. And we couldn't stream live. <coughs> so I got it all done in an hour. Because I wanted to see how big the foils are after an hour. <laughs> um. If I, gotta, if I gotta do this every day, this is what I'm gonna be doing. But uh, I'll be trying to live stream. We'll see if we can figure it out. It looks like we're targeted. Looks like the cowards have finally lost their minds and nobody's allowed to have a debate. And if that's so, we have reached the end of humanity. Have a great night. Great day tomorrow. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. We'll figure it out tomorrow night. Hopefully we'll have a live stream like normal get things back under control take care everybody